Guys, I was minding my own business, no intention of going out hunting this weekend, but then I got this text. Now this is the type of booth at a flea market that'll make me immediately leave my house. Let's do this. Apparently this dude's been coming since October, but interestingly, that's pretty much when I stopped going because I thought it was too cold. Turns out I probably missed out on some pretty great stuff. Uh, he had some awesome early bronze, mid bronze, all the way though into the silvers. So uh, definitely some things here I was very much interested in. At the moment though, I was more interested in filling in parts of my ASM collection with my buddy. So believe it or not, <laughs> this is all I got out of all that. Went back to Greg's though, because I definitely was in the mood to pick up some nice Batmans that I didn't get from a couple weeks ago. So I went back to Phantasm Comics and ended up picking up some Batmans. We got the iconic Jim Steranko Strange Tales cover. Uh, this is 167. It's also the first cover appearance of Contessa Valentina Allegro de Fontaine. And then here's the ASMs that I'll be adding that nicely fill some gaps in my collection. And here we've got, uh, I think it's the third appearance of Batmite, but more importantly, the first appearance of Kite Man. Hell yeah. And we got the first appearance of the Clockmaster, which also happens to be the second appearance of that first Batgirl, Betty Kane. And what better way to end the day than to go to your parents' house, which is actually where I get most of my comics shipped, to find a comic that I've been waiting for for weeks, to see that it was shipped so that the comic is slipping out the bottom. This may be a contender for a top 20 worst shipping jobs I've seen. Next up, Sunday, same thing. I was not expecting to go out at all or do any shopping, but it was my buddy's birthday and he told me about this show up in Clifton. So it was a no brainer. Got a little something for the birthday boy. That's right, baby. Yeah, Nightwing. CGC messed up that book. I don't even want it anymore. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. What do you look for today? I would like to get myself a slab for my birthday. Uh, not really particular on what it is, just something for my personal collection. I just want some high grade Green Lantern if it exists. Otherwise I'm looking for basically anything with no spine ticks. <laughs> That's good. Cool. There's some big books in here. This was a weird show. I usually only get raws when I come to shows, but there were so many vendors with awesome slabs. Now I'll be honest, a lot of the vendors had some tough prices on books, but there were a few I couldn't resist. I've submitted this book myself many times. First Bishop, I can never get a 9-8 out of that. You'll see immediately, my target was cold DC keys. I got some outlandishly good deals, but on DC, because Marvel's pretty tough right now, DC keys are so underrated, like this first King Shark. This was at a time 230, but it's dropped so significantly. Now I know this book really well. I've been trying to get it for months. So I threw out the offer of 150 and they didn't do any haggling. They just accepted it. Awesome business. Ended up getting another book. This one felt like a steal. It was the first appearance of Cassandra Kane, which is now back in the Mint Hunter collection. I have bought and sold this thing countless times. It's nice to have it back. Although it got such a good deal on it, I almost feel compelled to sell it again. <laughs> It goes on eBay for 350 like minimum. It's going all the way up to 500. There's a couple listings for 700. I paid 240 bucks. You just can't beat that. And then over here, just to kind of tease myself, I considered getting the first Ant-Man and first Hell Jordan, but they were way out of my wheelhouse almost bought this first appearance of Gamora, but I don't want to go down a Guardians of the Galaxy rabbit hole. I'd rather stick with my Avengers collection for the moment. This vendor, which actually was the place with the first Gamora, had virtually like every book you'd ever want to see at a show. So let me shut up for a second so you can just look at this wall. Just insane. This next dude had a book I've been looking for forever. Guys, the first appearance of Simon Baz, which was in a free comic book day, but it was done on outlandishly bad paper. Because of that, scoring an actual 9-8 has become very difficult. There are surprisingly not many on the census. Plus, it's a book that most people, frankly, they just don't know what it is. Did you know that 
This goes for $500. This time I was able to squeak out $300 for this highly elusive book. I've got one at CGC right now, but I'm not exactly hopeful it'll be a 9.8. That's okay though, because now I'm a proud owner. All right. Cool. Let's see it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So we got some Nightwing, Ghost Rider, tons of Daredevil stuff. Got this for three bucks. Got some more Daredevil, some keys. This one is a nice $3 find, even though it's kind of low grade. Um, yeah, Ghost Rider. Tons of spawn Tons of stuff. spawn, yeah. And of course, Moon Knight, real hot right now. Uh, even some... Oh, that's cool nice. X Men covers. These were all like three bucks. This was in a three dollar bin. Transformers two, second appearance of Cloak and Dagger, more spawn. spawn, more spawn, lots of spawn in here. These were dollar bin stuff at the end. Got some of this in uh, preparation of the Sandman show, and some uh, icon stuff. A cool wow. variant cover. I'll show the Savage. Which one? Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon number one. There were two copies of that in a fifty cent bin. So I picked them up, and we got some more spawn at the end. And of course, the slabs. Got this for 175. Batman 117 from 1958. Nice. Early Silver Age. Only paid 175. Get out of here, 200. Get out of here, 200. Yeah. <laughs> and show the 9-4. All right, we got a 9-4 spawn number nine. This was a freebie. Yeah. This for free due to an interesting situation. Interesting situation. Yeah, but freebie. I'll I'll take it. I will always take this book. It's you know fifty bucks in this grade, but sweet it's a good one, yeah. Unrelated, but Misfits is awesome. Heck yeah, dude! That's my book bag that I've had since like two thousand ten. Awesome. So guys, once again, another epic weekend. Uh, I think I'm on a roll of something like six weeks in a row now. I've had some kind of Monday video talking about some awesome haul from over the weekend. This one was no slouch. You know, this is how life goes, right? You don't plan and then suddenly it just drops on you and there's a new awesome show that you got to go to and pick up some awesome keys. I always say it's good to get out there and actually hold the stuff and see it yourself self i'm saying it again here it's great going to these shows it's great going to flea markets it's great going to yard sales get out there keep on hunting see these comics in person it'll beat ebay almost every time i can pretty much guarantee it guys as always keep on hunting keep this hobby alive and also apparently i just passed 13 thousand subscribers so holy smokes clearly you guys are just being awesome you're tuning into the videos and as the channel just gets better and better and bigger and bigger you guys are just there for every step of the way i appreciate and love you all keep on hunting